my mum just set me up at a modeling agency. She just said, Ollie, today we're going to a modeling agency on a Monday. I'm like, all right. You know, I had nothing else to do. I was just kind of doing some work experience. So in my gap year, suddenly I'm doing these photo shoots and I'm getting paid like 50 pounds an hour, like 100 US dollars an hour, which for me, I'd gone from five pounds an hour working in a bar to 50 pounds an hour having someone take a picture of me. I'm like, well, this is easy. I was booking everything. Um, like, but not the high fashion stuff, like this. It's like, tea, it's tea. Stuff like that, you know, commercials and just smiling and doing whatever. And they very quickly pointed, figured out that one, I don't shut up. And two, that I'm quite comfortable in front of camera and I'm just always being funny. That one of these guys was like, have you ever thought about doing television? And I was like, um, well, yeah, of course I have. And they always talk about feast and famine. Like you'll get a bunch of work and then you won't be working either. the world. <laughs> Taiwan is crazy. The hardest part so far is the swim. It's constantly being kicked. Well, I was in LA, I've done this amazing stuff. And um, you know, I've won the awards, I've, I've done it all. But we're realizing that now we've got two kids, we live in Singapore and it's costing 20,000 US a month to live there. It's the most expensive country in the world. Education, if you're foreign, costs a fortune. All I was doing was working to survive. So I was having to earn somewhere between two hundred and fifty and three hundred thousand dollars a year to then have no money. I didn't have any money. Of course, I wanted to move to the U.S. market. Some of my stuff, my food network, got seen in America, and the re reaction was so good that I'm like, "All right, it's time to move to the states." So waiting, waiting, waiting for the green card, and when it eventually came in, I'm like, "Okay, now I'm able to do do work here. I'm able to cast." Ten, eleven days after my green card came in, I got my first casting which was for right this minute. And I met the guys over Skype, had a bit of a joke, and like, I learned how to put, I'm good in casting, but I'm best in the room. That's where I'm the best. So I said, why don't I just come out to Phoenix and see you guys on Wednesday, which was two days later. So they said, sure, got me a ticket, flew me out. I was totally prepared, and I've done this so many times that I was just nice and casual and just chatting to them, and that was it. Booked the show, took 11 days. That's my Hollywood story, 11 days onto a national show and moved to Phoenix not two, three weeks later. A lot of people have always sort of been surprised at the way I live my life. The kind of, it's a lot of spontaneous decisions. And the way I look at it is that life is full of forks. Okay, think about like the multiverse theory. They always say that for every decision, there's another universe that gets created. I think the universe gives us opportunities. That's what I call them forks. And it's a question of you either have the guts to take the opportunity or you don't. And I've always leaned on the, f go for it. So I've had all these opportunities which seem so crazy and so ridiculous. For the most recent one being right this minute, it was, I'm being offered the biggest show in Asia. I'm being offered three shows in Asia, one of which is gonna be the biggest reality show in history. But then I get offered everything I've ever wanted, which is a national show in the States. Both were filled with risks and it was just a question of figuring out what was best for our family and taking that opportunity. So when you're faced with these forks, you know, too many people get caught up in the thought. Sometimes you've just got to go with it and you know you'll figure it out.